started the year off by holding a musical memories event on January the 31st, 2014 in the Ballarup Hall in East Kilbride. The event was organised by the East Kilbride Heritage Group, which has recently been collating an oral history of the town. It was an opportunity for people to share their memories of living, working and playing in East Kilbride since its creation, all of which will be put into a DVD and book. In March at the Assembly, the agenda as usual was very busy and interesting as we heard from Karen King, who is a nurse from the Haven in Blantyre. The project provides all types of therapeutic support to people with life-limiting illness and Karen provided some of the details of this for us. The Zan Handyboard from South Lanarkshire Council Consumer and Trading Standards then provided the meeting with a presentation on mass marketing schemes. And Jill Batty of South Lanarkshire Council provided the Assembly with a feedback from the South Lanarkshire Budget Consultation, in which some people had taken part during a session last year. Mary Nelson of Lanark was presented with a Seniors Together goodie bag for winning the word search competition in the Seniors Together 2014 calendar. And still in March, Seniors Together and Alzheimer's Scotland held a Making Dementia Connections conference at Hamilton Town House. Henry Simmons, Chief Executive of Alzheimer's Scotland, spoke about Scotland's National Dementia Strategy. Alzheimer's Scotland delivered a presentation on building a dementia-friendly community and how they managed to do it within the Motherwell area. The Dementia Working Group spoke about their own experiences and the Musical Memories Choir sang a few songs during lunch. There's a range of different breakout workshops such as Living Well with Dementia and Carers Training, Self-Directed Support, Young Onset Dementia and Football Memories. Around 130 people attended this event and organisations were on hand to give out useful information and advice. The event was a huge success. In May there was a Nostalgia Day arranged at Hamilton Town House. The theme of the day was entertainment in Hamilton during the 1960s. There was old newspapers and photographs etc from that era. And Jim Stewart, one of our members, put together a fantastic electronic presentation of maps of East Kilbride and surrounding areas. In June, we at Seniors Together were very honoured to see our member, Cathy Bennett, run with the Queen's Baton at Hamilton Palace Grounds on 22nd June 2014. Also another member of Seniors Together, Dorothy Freeburn, was a host at the bowling events throughout the Commonwealth Games. During June, in conjunction with the East Kilbride Heritage Group, some of the committee and friends went on a magical mystery tour, piecing together the timeline for our lottery-funded project. We were researching the people's stories of their time working in the various industries around the new town, such as Rolls-Royce, Motorola and the Nell. One of the largest and most comprehensive research and development laboratories in the world, the National Engineering Laboratory. An engineering training centre was also set up to teach apprentices basic skills and techniques. We also visited the architectural award-winning chapel of St Brides. On the 5th of September 2014, another musical memories event was held within Ballarup Hall in East Kilbride, featuring Sandy McBain, who talked about his time at the Olympia Ballroom in the 60s and 70s music scene. Dave Marshall of Radio Fame awakened our memories with pictures, sounds and adverts of all long gone but still from our past in the 60s and 70s. All of this was supported by a DVD put together by a small group of youngsters from South Lanarkshire Youth Council. On the 10th of September, Forward at 50 launched their Active Aging Festival, where Dan Smith came along and parked his vintage red bus outside Rutherglen Town Hall. Members of the Forward at 50 group and Deputy Provost Pam Cleary were there to hand out leaflets to members of the public and to speak to them about the Active Ageing Festival and what it had to offer. On the 1st of October 2014 this year, the Active Ageing Festival came to Rutherglen, Cambus Lang. 
Deputy Provost Councillor Pam Cleary opened up the event. Rutherglen Town Hall had a trade fair with 28 local businesses taking part. Rutherglen Library ran a nostalgia day, a show of historic photos of the town. And Eastfield Lifestyles ran leisure activities, health checks and mini gym inductions. A great day was had by all, with the free prize draws being a huge success. The Last Word Conference was held within South Lanarkshire headquarters on 7th November 2014 for older people to bring clarity to end-of-life arrangements. Around 110 people attended this event, with speakers and workshops offering information on anticipatory care plans, personalised end-of-life care plans, social care supports, making a will and power of attorney. There were also display stands where people could seek information from Marie Curie, The Haven and Living Wills. The main thing is to speak and talk to someone and get that support you need at the most emotional time in your life. Lastly, we have established a South Lanarkshire Men's Shed network in conjunction with other partners, who are Age Scotland and The Leap Project. We're really excited to announce that from this, 24 men are moving forward to set up the first shed in Hamilton. Watch this space for more sheds popping up on your area. That was the year that was, full of interest and activity for all concerned. And so, let's look forward to another bumper year, 2015.